here we go. It's the butt crack of dawn. What do you want right now? <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> I'm like, let's get this done so I can get some coffee as soon as possible. Okay, let's get our priorities straight, okay? What do you have to say about surgery? I don't like the nausea part, but everything else is a breeze. I do it every day. What? Surgery every day. That's a fun game. I'll have to film your other game, your breathing game. Yeah. Well, here I am. Uh, procedure went well. Um, my doctor said it doesn't look like cancer, and I only had, um, I mean, I know you can't tell from looking at it, but maybe you can, I guess, I don't know. Um, <coughs> I'm eating uh, some pot roast and mashed potatoes and green beans. And uh, yeah, I kind of, uh, <coughs> kind of realized that I, I like uh, canned green beans, big, you know, epitome of the day, big epitome. I can't talk straight. Reve revelation. Anyway, I'm, I'm still a little drugged. <clears throat> Just sent the fiance to get me a half-calf iced Americano since I haven't had my coffee all day. Um, and yeah, as you can see, I'm talking and my voice actually feels pretty normal, which I'm very happy about, uh, being that I am a voice talent, so that's a thumbs up. Oh, can't do that. The IV is in. Um, I think they, they said they're going to keep me overnight, and then um, I should be able to go home tomorrow morning. I'm supposed to squeeze this dis disgusting thing. It's not that gross, but it's like a drain that collects the blood. It's kind of like a diva cup, in my opinion. Um, anywho, <clears throat> I think this is the most I've spoken all day. I've been texting people. People are very nice. I've been getting a lot of great messages and uh, uh, texts and what have you. But um, I've managed to get some sleep in. I hope I can sleep pretty good tonight. And They're supposed to get... Give me some um, <clears throat> some painkillers in a minute. I just asked for whatever the lightest one was, just for my neck. It doesn't feel like a sore throat to me. It feels like somebody punched me in the neck. Not that anyone has ever punched me in the neck, so, uh, but what I imagine, because it's more on the outside. Um, but yeah, I will um, keep you posted <clears throat> how this continues to go. All right, but that's that. Not too bad. All right. Bye. Okay, here's my medical narration demo. Sterile, non-pyrogenic, single-dose container. Do not use in series. Do not use in series connection. For intravenous use only. Use only if solution is clear and container and seals are intact. Okay, so it is Sunday morning, about 10, 10. I got my surgery on Friday. Um, and I mean, this, the way I sound right now is actually kind of, it's a, it's a little bit more than my normal morning stuff. Like I'm usually, you know, not very good in the morning. I got my, I got my coffee here. Wait, where is it? There we go. Um, but I'm pretty thankful. I don't feel like my voice has been uh, affected, really. I mean, all like I said, all this other stuff, it's affected a little bit. I guess 
on certain notes I can feel it but for what I do in voiceover which is mainly um, kind of calm stuff I don't do crazy acrobatics with my voice I do tel telephone systems um, and I do commercials and e-learnings and things like that um, I don't feel like it's really affected my voice I was testing it out I'm sorry that idea is not valid yeah I, you know Duracell trust is power it's a little bit but like I think it's okay so I feel I feel good about that um, yeah and like I said I'm normally in the morning I'm really kind of stuffy it's, and I slept so much I um, I slept a bunch in the afternoon yesterday so my my fiance picked me up uh, in the morning I did spend the night after surgery they discharged me around 11 o'clock the next morning he took me home and you know moving wise and like body wise I feel okay but I do get tired quickly and he brought me home and then I I feel like I slept for like two hours um, got up we watched watched a bunch of movies I had some food I f feel like I'm able to eat regular food um, I mean I had soup but I had like an empanada and stuff um, and then I went to bed around probably 11 slept till about 630 got up took more pain meds I'm just taking Tylenol, by the way. I don't like the heavy stuff. It, it makes me queasy. So I'm just taking Tylenol. I did take some Benadryl because the thing for me that's really, ugh, like, so annoying is the itchiness. Like, there's pain and, you know, it feels really, really tender, but it's the itchiness that's driving me nuts. So uh, I took some Benadryl. I think that helped. I also put an, a gel pack ice on it. Um last night and that definitely when it was feel, feeling very very itchy that seemed to calm that down I had a rash around the band-aid from the original um, stuff that they put on me they they replaced it with this and I had like this raised red rash and I coated that down with witch hazel and then I put this um, healing kind of petroleum based uh, CeraVe gel around it and that seems to have helped a lot um, so you can't really see it, but I do feel like when this comes off, I'm going to have a nasty little rash there. My skin in this area is just so sensitive, but my God, the itching. Ugh. Um, but that said, I'm, I'm definitely feeling achy. Uh, and it's weird when I cough, my sides down, my core is really hurting. And I don't know what that's about. Um, I don't know if it's just like, you know, you're, they're moving your body around and you're out and it just stretches things and who knows but uh other than that you know i'm feeling uh pretty good but it is <clears throat> i do understand how like i don't want to do anything right now that pushes me um so i'm going to take it easy i got some friends coming to visit me later today um and i'm going to get dressed and um i think i i'm, I'm going to propose that we just take a walk around the neighborhood and you know stay close by but uh yeah so i will keep you guys posted on my recovery process thanks so much